and welcome back to Choice Bits of Bliss. My name is Scylla. Today we're going to go through what I've done for Collection Obsession for April. And let's just address the elephant in the room. Uh, I have two elephants. I have my air conditioner on and I am so, so sorry if that is annoying, but I have to have it. And the second elephant is I've got a cold and I sound a little croaky. So, mm, I'm sorry, but we have a lot to cover today and I wasn't going to put off making this video until my voice got better because friends, I've got, I've got things to do <laughs> and I need to move through this and I'll tell you what I've got to do. I'm excited about it. Okay. So this is my little tray that I use for collection obsession and I put my embellishments in here, my add-ons that I'm going to put in the kit and I did a couple of doilies. I did some additional flowers and some Prima knitted doilies and flowers. So all of that's here and we're going to go through it in just a little bit. This is my leftover sticker sheet, my leftovers uh, scraps, 6x8 and 12x12 12 12 sheets. Now let's get into the layouts. Okay, I will probably have to pause to sneeze and all of that stuff because I do have a cold. Anyway, let's talk about the fun stuff. So I did get four layouts completed. I love, love, love April 2023 sketches by Page Maps. I don't know what it is about them, but I am just in love of, with them. So they, these four layouts are heavily inspired by uh, different sketches from page maps for this month. These photos are of just a close up of bees on, I think these are bumblebees on these flowers. And this is from a trip that my sister and I had taken to Vicksburg, Mississippi. And there is a whole wackadoodle story about our, there's always wackadoodle stories about our trips together because we're nuts and when we get together things just happen and we end up laughing until we wet ourselves true story so we had gone hiking and just kept walking and walking and then we decided we walked down to the Mississippi River we decided to come back up and there was this building and it had fence and so we thought okay there's going to be a break in the fence somewhere there was not we had to turn around go back down the hill and then walk back out the way we came which was a, a ways we had walked a ways and we laughed until we hurt because on the other side of that fence, there was a, he wasn't a police officer. He must have just been like a security guard. He was in uniform and he was just standing there waiting on us to, to climb that hill with our red faces and huffing and puffing like we were the big bad wolves. And we get to the top trying to catch our breath and he's like, y'all can't come through here. <laughs> We were like, we realized this. There's no gates or anything for us to get through. He was like, no, seriously, you can't come through this way. You're going to have to, and that's why we had to turn around and go, go back. We had to obey him. Anyway, it was funny. On these, um, these are just three photos of my great nieces. And I used a, just a really kind of sloppy grid design and I'm not going to let that stay there too long you really can't see their features in those photos but when they were here visiting me they had one of those Instax, Insta, Instax cameras and they took photos for me and wanted me to have one of each one of them so I scrapbooked those they are precious precious girls these photos are of a stray cat when I lived in Alabama who claimed us for a little bit and then she decided she wanted no part of us anymore and she disappeared. We have no idea where she went. But she wasn't our cat anyway. I just love these photos of her playing with that caterpillar. 
and this sketch oh my gosh I just love it love it these photos are of our second trip to Montreal and one morning my husband was sleeping he was sound asleep I tend to be an early riser and I just snuck out of bed grabbed my camera and went down to the St. Lawrence River and started taking photos of the sun coming up I just love that time of the morning and then the sun shining you know as it was coming up started shining on the buildings that were on the street front oh I just love it it's a super happy memory so peaceful the mornings are so peaceful okay so that's my layouts we're gonna set these to the side I used 10 pieces of full paper I used a lot of the six by eight and I do not count that in my burn rate so now let's talk about what I have left over so we have already seen the sticker sheet this is going to go back in my spring collections I need to pause okay these scraps I'm going to put in my scrap folders the six by eight, they're gonna go into my Fajala. I love these colors. And the season that we're in, I think I can use quite a bit of this up because there's a lot of really basic patterns. Uh, let me go ahead and reach and just put those in there. Now, let's talk about these 12 by 12. I have quite a bit left over. I have not counted, but as you can see, it's, there's quite a bit. Oh, there's a piece of white cardstock that needs to come out. So, I've been doing a lot of rearranging in my space, and I am learning, I've talked about this, to follow my, my gut instinct. And my gut instinct is telling me I'm finished playing with this. And there's no reason for me to put it back in the shelf, packaged up with all of this, to just sit there because I probably won't pull it again and for me to use this what I have decided is that the basics I'm going to put that I like let me back up first of all I'm going to turn it to the the side that I like most I love this side and I like this side and this side so <clears throat> this is what I'm going to do I am so sorry for clearing my throat that's uncouth this is what I'm going to do the basics are going to go in my color categories and these that are that I like to play with them it's going to go in my simple stories by manufacturer now that I have that separation so I'm going to do that I'm going to separate out these papers I can do it with you yeah let's just do it together so on to my left side is going to be what's going in by manufacturer and on the right side is going to be what I put in by color category so I want one of these in each this I want to go all in because this is okay but I really love these florals and I would I think I would rather run into those by manufacturer really basic it's going over here by color by color and I'm going to go ahead and separate these colors as I'm doing it no sense in being sloppy about it basics I'm going to go in by color see these polka dots and you know these tone on tone florals are just so easy to use for other things Clouds. 
This one I'm torn. I, I believe I'm going to put this one by manufacturer. Okay, we have a plan for these. And I'm really, really happy I'm making this decision. Now let's talk about this mess. All right, I have three packs of journal bits and pieces. So one of these, one of them is almost used up. This one's a brand new pack, so I'll keep it. I'm going to give a pack away into my die cut and ephemera giveaway that we're going to be doing. Okay, the doilies are going to be stored back where the doilies are. These are going back with my flower collections. Now we're just left with this mess. So something that I have with this collection is I bought the digital files. Yeah, I did. And I did cut out some. That's what these are from. These are from my digital files. This is a digital file. This one is from the digital file. Uh, these are all from the digital. I'm going to throw these away because I can cut them out at any time and these as you can tell did not cut correctly. So I'm going to just go ahead and do that again and not just hold on to this stuff because I can cut them out anytime I want to. These journaling bits, I'm going to keep those. Now I'm going to sort what I feel like I will actually use and the things that I won't. This is a digital. I think, if I'm not mistaken, uh, some of this is from the Bunnies and Bloom collection. Yes, this is. Oh, this is the digital cut file. And see, some of them got cut right in the middle. It just did not cut right. And I'm sure, sure, sure that is user error. That one cut okay. I'm going to keep it. So I'm not seeing anything right away that just turns me completely off that I think I'll never use it. So I'm going to go ahead and get a bag and start bagging these up. And I thought I had a bag handy. Let me just pause. Okay, I'm just going to go ahead and start putting these in here because I don't want to touch them 59 times trying to make decisions. That's not what I want. I want to be able to make quick decisions and just follow through with it. I don't want to dither around. I want things to happen and to be moving forward constantly. So one of the reasons why I'm keeping this I do not scrapbook a lot of Easter I just don't I don't we don't my family doesn't get together for Easter uh, we do not have big Easter dinners but I do have photos that I have not scrapbooked of the boys when they were younger and I want so I do need some elements I don't need so much of the paper because I have tons and tons of spring paper that I can pull from and then just add using these elements. I also have dies and I have digital files that I can print and cut over and over and over again. So that's where my head is. I'm trying to streamline this process for the love of Pete. I'm trying to streamline it. 
And honestly, the more I, I keep acting on this, the happier I'm becoming. Um, I, it's working for me. I do want to figure out what I did wrong on that cut file, on that uh, digital file. Because I was able to use a lot of it, and some of it is just unusable. It didn't cut all the way through, and then it cut in the wrong places. Like I said, I have no doubt it's user error. Okay, this is from a card making kit. These pieces here. I think I got it in a warehouse box. The bunnies in bloom. Well, these are tiny little bits. And that's part of my frustration, I'm just being honest with you, is managing things that I don't think are serving me. And just continuing to shuffle it around. I've done it for years. For it. I've done it for years. And I'm just, yeah, I'm not in that headspace anymore. Okay, so that little kit is made. I'm keeping the, these. This is all going to go in my spring category. This is going to get put up. That's put up. We've broken it all down. These are going to get put in scraps. All right, we've done it. We've made it through this month's collection obsession come back oh yeah I was gonna tell you why I have things to do so at the end of this month I'm doing a another crop and create delivered I had told Teresa that if I wasn't able to sit down for this class because the last class was completely disrupted actually the last two classes were completely disrupted and right over there in my cuddies I've got that shelf with the divide the uh, trays in it is still last the fall kits that I didn't get to take the classes because we, I got interrupted. So if I'm not able to complete this one, I will not buy this coming fall because I need to keep working through stuff. And we get a lot of product. I want to get it used. I don't want to just keep piling product in here that doesn't have a purpose. So my goal is to truly just set my set that time aside at the end of this month and have a weekend to myself I plan on doing that again for International Scrapbook Day weekend I'm taking uh, the virtual classes and crop with scrapbook generations I want to knock out some product that's my goal is to truly knock out some products now for the International Scrapbook Day weekend, I honestly would love to get at least 40 layouts done, and I would like to touch 40 kits. That's my goal. It sounds kind of grand, but let's just see. Let's see what happens. If we don't put it out there and say what we want to do, it definitely won't happen. So I'm putting it out there. That's my goal is 40 kits. All right. Let's take a break from this one and come back. We'll chat again soon. Bye-bye.